special menu price. Huge discount. Fresh is meat around. Come on, come on! Hey! Hey Saturn. All right, so we are here with um, Metro. Um, I believe this is Metro Redux. Um, can I see like? Miller and I, I left the train, then climbed up no. the tunnel to the Coral Ave Performance Hall. We were close. We are here with, uh, this is a game that is really amazing. It's called Metro. Uh, this is part one of a three-part series now. So this is the first game, and it is simply just called Metro uh, Redux. Uh, it's actually the remastered version of the original Metro. Uh, the game is a first-person shooter survival horror. Um, what I was actually trying to accomplish is I was trying to see what playthrough I played on last time because I actually really enjoyed it and I don't want to um, I don't want to hinder the experience that I felt the first time playing it by picking the wrong one. The game has a very strong emphasis on um, basically on resource management and it kind of punishes you for, well, pretty much everything. Um, so this is what I was hung up on. There's two different play styles. One is called survival, where ammo filters are in short supply, deadlier combat, and more challenging stealth. Uh, survival style offers players the original survival horror-oriented experience of Metro 23 with an emphasis on resource management and tense combat. I believe that is what I played it on. I know that Spartan is also there. Spartan basically gives you more forgiving stealth. Um, you can kind of just run through the game and it's basically like a typical shooter. And you kind of lose the emphasis on what to me Metro stood for. Um, my goal when I play a video game is I want to feel like something new has been added to my library of not only ideas, but experiences and emotions. And Metro left me feeling like I had lived a story of a character, and I kind of felt I felt their their suffering, I felt their pain, their frustration, and uh, I would love to kind of let you guys get a first-hand feel of this game. So we are going to go st um, with survival. I believe you can change it at any other time. I think I had to at one point, but I don't remember. So we're going to kick it off with survival. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so now you get a choice of your options here. So Normal, Hardcore, and Ranger, and Ranger Hardcore. Uh, normal is recommended for standard players. You will need closely watch your ammo and filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Hardcore is every encounter presents a serious tactical ch challenge, and it just gets worse from there. Um, I am not able to play on all higher difficulties because I don't have enough time to finesse myself. So we're going to just go normal. That way I'm not banging my head against a wall uh, wishing for the game just to be over. Are you sure you want to override all previous save data? That is the most like heart-wrenching text document that you can ever get in a video game. But the answer is always yes. Because I beat this game years ago. Alright, good old gamma correction. Adjust the slider to the left so the image is barely visible. Well, I'm going to say that looks fine to me. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? 
Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I don't talk during any of these cutscenes, because it really does give you some amazing exposition. Uh, this game doesn't spoon-feed anything to you. You have to go out of your way to find it, which I thought was a really brilliant uh, concept. So anytime there's dialogue, I will stop talking so you guys can hear it. Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Gotcha! We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cover. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. I love it. Auxiliary hand system. Just a fancy word for a wheel. for ammo and med packs. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Okay. Up we go. Okay, so this is where the game gets really neat. So in typical games, you have your weapon wheel. Well, I actually have two weapon wheels. I have one on my left shoulder button, which gives me things like, uh, let's see here. If I press up, I can see my watch. As you can see, it's not a heads up display. It is actually an in-game watch. The other direction here. Oh, I can't do that one right now. I also have my med kit and I have my battery, which I can't do right now. On the other side over where you see to the right, I have a light bulb, binoculars, what looks like a canister, and then a mask. So you will see what those all mean as the game progresses. Yeah, I'm not going to give away too much, but I need to put my watch away. There we go. Mm -hmm. Seems like nobody's home. Before we leave the surface, put your gas mask on. Without it, it'd be like a goldfish outside the zone. Almost there. This is the Torelyev performance wall. It's really close to the tower. Okay, so this is going to be one of the first things you're going to get to see. Is you can actually put on your gas mask. Don't be weapon! Suki. Here they come. Let's move out. And here it is, Artyomushka. 
Dark ones do not kill outright, but they damage a victim's mind. God, sooner or later, this means to take it. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to exhibition, Hunter. Thanks. Now close your gate. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about the exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. The Dark ones do not... They're coming in What's from that? above! Shit. Just what we need. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The whole... Kirill, take your group to the tent. Alex, Hunter... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team, quickly, get a weapon. They never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. I shot this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo novice, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novus with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post!
devil knows what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atium. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand. Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Finally! Taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform, they're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? Вот что, с перевертоцей бабушка здорова! Вот что, с перевертоцей куча ед компот! Вот что, с перевертоцей я мечтаю снова! Вот что, с перевертоцей перележит на лёд! I find it funny, there's a copy of Metro 2033 sitting on his desk. It's the actual book that the game is based off of. So, fascinating that when the game started the first time, Sorry, that Artemis. was the way they had this me go. This part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Only Cut the guards are ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you and don't regret getting it? Yeah, the level design in this game is really clever, because kind of hearkening back to something I mentioned about older games, they didn't have the resources to have huge maps. So having one map they could recycle sometimes was the best thing they could do. I'm sick and tired of this I shit. Too. Why do I put up with it? Doreen, Mom told me to keep away from you, that you were no good, and she was right. No, you, my, will you ever shut up? All right, then, uh, draw something else now. How about... Hmm... I know, how about a house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? A big one? And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her, son. Okay, I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Soon. I wish you could see how much you've grown. They did a really good job making this world feel lived in. Oh, shit. Dream. <laughs> I dreamt I was on the surface again. Uh, I don't want to hear about your nightmares. We got a good 50 years before we can go topside again. So go back to sleep already. So, the top guy comes over and says, Baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man in the world. So I ask him, can your wife cook at all? And he says, actually, I'm not married. <laughs> That's sweet. So go for it, girl. Okay, so this is literally your journal. Instead of it being like a typical game where you open a menu, this is your menu. So, get to Paulus, find a ranger named Miller, describe the situation at exhibit, exhibition, get some equipment at the station's armory, join the caravan. The only kind of unsupernatural element is the compass that always points to your direction at the very top. In my other hand, a lighter, which you can use to illuminate said uh, documentation. 
You can also just light the lighter if you want. And you can also just look at this. It's really, really cool mechanics. Uh, I forget how you put it away, though. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dirt everywhere. Just dirt. People are filthy, you know? Liars, hypocrites, Is that you, Pete? <laughs> what? You saying that I'm dirt? Will you Come open again? it yourself! <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs> Go find the keys! You know I can't get up, idiot. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I found bullets! Scrounging in this game is probably one of the most valuable resources, and honestly, you never know when you're gonna find something. You guys got anything for me? Can I eat your soup? Can I eat your borscht? Give me your borscht. I'm just gonna sneak in behind here and look at your cans. On the shelf. Don't be creepy. Look who's talking about dirt. Walking around and leaving those dirty footprints yeah. everywhere. Hey, hey. Not giving a who's, damn about who's the there? To clean it up after them. Ah. That's something to piss anyone See off. Sure, Tom. Well, let me get some rest, will ya? Will it be my watch soon? <laughs> you like borscht? Bunkers were the first to be hit. <laughs> At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would How end is it? all. Yes, I was monitoring the radio. Oh, picked up a lot of weird resume. stuff in the beginning too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. That's like a beet soup, right? Is Artyom, that correct please. Forced? My son's sick. Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. So, this is your currency. The bullets that you shoot at enemies is your money. Thanks, Artyom. I knew I could count on you. Well, I did find three bullets, so... Yeah. Look at this. That's a real hermit calling card. Good weapons make good soldiers. Sure, more than enough protection. Yeah, this one's not bad. So, we were transporting cargo. While at war, your weapon is your best friend. Everything was fine until we had to go through spur tunnels. There was this stage in there. Some kind of mist. You couldn't see more than two meters ahead. That's going to cost me 30 bullets, and I've got 36 bullets. That silencer would be really handy for some stealth. 
that would be really good at medium and long range, but makes the weapon bulkier and heavier. We're going to go for a silencer, I think. Actually, I want to back out for a second. Is there anyone else selling any other better weapons? No, he's the only weapons guy. Okay, so he only has good pistols weapon makes right the now. best partner. Jesus Christ. I don't know what that means, but sure. Okay, I can't draw my weapon right now. But I'm pretty sure I bought a silencer for it. Come on, son. What should I bring for you? Come over. No, come over. Drunk What's again. You? Get the hell up, you slob. Mm. A board and some colored pencils uh, and what? some sweets. What do you want? Most everything. Everything? But there's no tomorrow. And there it's won't be if you don't get your ass home. Okay. Be kind to your mom. Listen to her at home. Okay, so pistol rounds are available for six, and assault rifle ammo I can't afford. We'll buy some pistol ammo. So I've spent all my money. Great choice, and I hope. Exchange? Hey, hey, who's who's there? Ah, it's you, Artyom. A change? Let me be get some guess. rest, will you? It'll be my watch soon. Whichever's best for everyone. Okay, I didn't mean to wake him up. I thought I could do something with him. Anyways, um, I spent all my bullets, so I can't do anything more. I haven't finished it yet. Artyom, where's your gear? No, go to the armory and get geared up. Go to the armory. Everything's fresh. Come over, make your choice. I don't know where the armory is. Oh, I think it's right here. Hello, Artyom. So, what do you make of that new guy? He seems Hello, Artyom. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a best of gun. Go, go, go. Never fear, it's the same old story. Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you cross any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? Okay, well, I don't really want to waste my ammo in the firing range, but I kind of want to make sure my pistol is silenced. Okay. Uh, how do you change weapons? There it is, okay. So, interesting fact about this game. If I fire, like, two rounds out of my pistol and reload it, any unspent rounds will be lost. So, impromptu loading is not ideal. And I love this gun because it literally lets you see the bullets all lined up across it. So as you fire them, you have a visual representation of how many bullets you've left. Alright, I want to holster my weapon if I can. I'm trying to remember how you do that. Nope. Nope, don't reload. Ah, stupid. Well, that's a great way of wasting ammo. 
Oh, he puts it away already. Can't believe I just wasted that ammo. That could come out and bite me. Well, do you think one day we could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow, just the old pictures. Moscow's gone. Soon we'll be gone too. And the monsters will inherit the Earth. But there were other subways. In St. Petersburg, in Minsk, in Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But so many years have passed now, and we've heard nothing from them. The other cities didn't have defense rings like Moscow did. What a great city it was, St. Petersburg. The cathedral and the admiralty with its spire. I remember summer nights at Nevsky Avenue. Crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, the music, and the air sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. All right, I hope you guys don't mind that I keep sta stopping to listen to conversations. It just helps build the world that you we're going to be wandering through. Hi, how are you, Arjun? So you're ready to move out? If I didn't that thing, I'd go near. Imagine the room back to the window of unmoved. It's worse than being in that. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom. And you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. We'll have to pull the lever sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll ride it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. Oi. Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the right takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> it was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to Riga, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to police, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from well, the city. I'd love to ride that thing. Panza connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations. But doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're warring with each other. Stuck near Alexeyevska. A tunnel collapse or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevska. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate this tunnel. Alright, Peter. Open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. 
Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. Have a safe trip. We are riding a ham car in the road, so I think we'll make it there okay. the lever. We'll get there sooner. Okay, Eugene. You go help the men. We should move faster here. You watch the back, Artyom. Sure. I'll help. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? Now, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around. And I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Whom do you mean, them? What are you talking about, huh? What, what the hell is going on, man? Boris! Bo Boris! Boris! Hey. What's happening to me? Huh? Huh? Oh, my... my head! Aren't you a boy? What is it? Uh. Artyom! Over here! If, if we, we are, are to survive, survive this, this threat, threat must, must be eliminated. Be eliminated. No, no matter, matter the cost, cost. eliminate it. going on? Shit! Wake up, people! People! Wake up, for Christ's sake! Boris! Boris, wake up! Boris! Shit! It's no good! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Shoot them! You shoot them! Take the ladders! Come on! Wake up! And that's how easy it is to die in this game. What the hell's going on? Shit! Wake up, people! People! Wake up! Oh. Christ's sake! Boris! Boris, wake up! Boris! Shit! It's no good! Ah! Oh god! Ah! Shoot them! You shoot them! Take the ladders! Come on! Kill that guy. Or this one.
Riga station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. Alright boys, let's train to a friend Artyom, who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike. To Artyom. To you! Hell, if not for you Artyom, we'd have been shredded like cabbage. You deserve a medal. <laughs> or at least some extra ammo. Here, take them. To your health. Artyom, to you! Artyom, you really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> okay, we've got to check that. To our luck, and to Artyom. To you, Artyom. Alright, Saturn, thanks for coming by. I gotta keep playing. If you want to catch up onto it, by all means, feel <laughs> free to uh, uh, kicks let me ass, know, huh? and I will uh, give you a link. So tell me, the tunnel to market's closed down, and I'm bored to death, sitting here on my ass. We passed through some kind of invisible way. We all blacked out. When I came to, there was a horde of Nassauluses chasing us. But our friend Artyom was the okay. It's a fine ranger named Miller. Seems to describe the situation. <laughs> Find so a way out of the station and continue to polish. Man, I don't even know how we made it to the road. I'll drink to such a nice guy too. Zartyom. Thanks, boy. I'm selling a lot of drinks because of you. For them Random to bullet the laying around. To you. Riga for a bit and see if I can find any more bullets. Come look, try and buy. All right. 
Alright, so that looks like my shotgun. And that would be a better stock on my shotgun. Hi. Okay, this guy sells grenades. Sure can count to five. Blows your target to pieces. Bang. Grenades and, and throwing knives. Come. Make sure you can count to five. Probably should buy a few. Okay, we bought five. I think that's the max. We'll buy. You can shave with it. Five throwing knives. Med kits are like A worth more than you can imagine. Always handy. Only carry five. Agreed. Okay, so fully stocked up on resources. Bullets here. exchange. What are you selling? Bullet exchange. Buckshot. Okay, so that's my assault. I don't know why it lines up that way, but weird. Okay, so the buckshot is for the shotgun. Uh, probably should get some of that. I don't know what the max is that I can carry. Okay, I can't afford anything more. Good deal. Bought lots of ammo, lots of other items. I hope I got the right things. I need to find some more bullets laying around. Okay, good. I'm going the wrong way. That's what I was hoping for. I'm gonna go rummage in the lockers here. Oh, I found a rat. That's something. They got like a shooting gallery here. Which I don't want to use because I don't want to waste my ammo. Typically there's med kits in those things, but not this time. Oh. Bullets right there. See them in the in the pallet? Crazy, so no bullets for you. Food. Oh, I found it. I haven't eaten in days. Found a dossier. New note. All right, so we got several notes here. So, note one: There's nobody among the orders of fighters who'd ever lived at the exhibition why would they risk their lives to save us total strangers to them what for perhaps they just as i do believe that dark ones are a threat not just for our god forgotten backwater station but for the metro as a whole that i don't know but one thing i know for sure i can't watch these people and not feel admiration they couldn't care less which station we hailed from which god and which politics we believed the one thing they actually cared about was that we were human beings and we were in danger when joining the order
No one vows to protect the Metro. Uh, the last refuge of human race to the end. Some of them believe they can prevail. A lot more think we're doomed regardless, but they don't even think of laying down their arms and giving up the struggle. Such were Hunter's comrades, and it would be the highest honor for me to become one of them. Day after day, patrols go out to the northern tunnels and day after day they return bearing casualties, murdered brutally, inexplicably so. Even more casualties come back alive, but insane. And yet, it's only by sending our friends, neighbors, and relatives out there that we can keep the Dark Ones at a distance. When we run out of manpower to stop their attacks far enough, when they arrive at the station itself, we'd be done for. I hear people talking secretly at the station that it's just us prolonging the agony, but there's no hope for salvation. But Sukhoi, my stepfather, and the head of the station still hopes for a miracle. He insists that an old friend of his, Hunter, can save us. Hunter is a member of the Spartan Order, a battle of brotherhood sworn to protecting the Metro from any and all dangers. There is nothing capable of instilling fear into the hearts of those men. At least, there was nothing until the Dark Ones arrived. The task of defending our home station from the Dark Ones' enemies, horrifying, mysterious, and unbeatable, is becoming a sole focus of all our efforts. We've all but forgotten our old enemies, the Nozalises and the Watchmen, and if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think that the carnage would have of the carnage that would ensure should Hunter have arrived a mere hour too late. But Hunter arrived at exhibition just on time. I like to think that he was not just blind luck, that it was fate at work, and that at the same time fate that made Hunter choose me to travel to Polis with him with his report on the Dark Ones. It seems that I've dreamt of visiting Polis, the great legendary center of the Metro, the center of our civilization, my whole life. But a chance to actually make that dream come true had just come by now of all times when my home station desperately needed every fighter it can field. Do I have the right to abandon my adopted father, my friends, in an hour of danger? Where is this place next to them on the barricades, or at the fire stations where Hunter sends me? I don't know for sure, but I still set out on a journey. I'd like to believe that I am summoned by fate. What was that? Strange shadows and voices? Whispers. Weeps. They were silent, and yet they still resound inside my head. There are lots of tunnels in the metro associated with terrifying legends, but I never heard anything quite like this, and I hope I never... And I hope... And I'll never... Ugh. And I hope I'll never anything like it from now on. We've got incredibly lucky in escaping that place with our lives. Rizyaka back home at exhibition. We always considered this station dwellers somehow. Unlucky, they always used to be in trouble. Be it their pigs catching some mysterious bug, their tunnel ceilings leaking, or their merchants getting too immersed in the celebration of a good deal at the market and drinking all the money away. The people of Riga are nice and hospitable, but they are sure are clumsy. We used to pity them and poke fun at them for a bit, for we were on top of things. We at the exhibition knew life, and now I actually envy them. They live in peace, they haven't even heard they don't they haven't even hear of the dark ones. And even those who did never believed what they heard, but if I fail, the Dark Ones will wipe the station out in an instant, and these happy, clumsy people with their peaceful, clumsy life will be gone. There will be blood and emptiness. I've got to hurry. There's a saying in the Metro, nothing worse than a chance fellow traveler, but nothing, nobody else to rely on either. This bourbon guy surely is strange. Why would he need me? He obviously knows these tunnels like the back of his hand. Somebody told him that crap does not affect me, and he bought it. I don't believe it myself, and he does? Well, used to think about it, I'll be quite happy if he gets me past the market without trying to quietly snuff me in a dark tunnel. So, once in a while you'll find... Oh, he's pretty angry looking. You'll find notes scattered around the world of Metro. Um, but it's really more like Artyom makes notes at the time you find them. Pretty sure if I approach this guy, he's gonna go away. Yes, I did. Wow, I'd love to ride that thing. Could you give a bullet? Are you Artyom? Hey, there's a man at the Black Street waiting for you. I'll guide you there for one bullet.
I'm not gonna give that kid money. I'm just gonna wander. Lots of low life Everybody's pandering for bullets. I'll guide you there for one bullet. He's gonna get angry at me again. And you are really greedy. Bullet, right there. He's gonna say it again. I'm not gonna look at him. Okay, there we go. Dreams. Okay, something tells me I'm not supposed to be back here. Haha. -ha. This is why in Metro, usually going off the grid is not the worst idea. We also need to make sure that you are aware of your surroundings and you don't get yourself into trouble. Did I just go around in a circle, or what just happened there? There's a barricade there to somewhere. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet, but I did find here, so let's get out of here for a second. Back to the main drag. Creepy baby. Very creepy baby. dead. There's bullets there. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's empty. Okay. Child's drawings. I probably should have paid that kid to guide me, because I don't know where I'm going. I'll find him. I'm going to drop down here again. I might need to head off soon. I'm starting to yawn. No, not you. Okay, let's have a look at our uh, compass here. It says to go back. Okay. Something clipping through that wall. Oh no, it's just light. Okay, it wants me to go... Like... Here. Ah, right... I can't jump. I gotta get right to this. 
Okay, I know how to get there. Typically, open doors mean bullets, and right there. Come here. You're our team, right? Sit down. Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen. I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But, I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to Dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? Just make it short. Alright, so we found quite a pile of bullets. We gotta make our way back to that armory and we can go and buy some more gear. Um, but, for now... I am going to stop here, because I am getting weirdly sleepy all of a sudden. Um, I hope you enjoyed the start of Metro. If you did, by all means, please let me know. I'd love to know if you guys are enjoying this, or and you want me to continue, or if you want me to backseat it and move on to something else. Anyways, as always, peace, love, and extras, and be good to one another out there. Discount Magicians signing off, and good night, everybody.